Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Revitalize Valorant Invitational Tournament. My name is Jay Star. Tonight, we have two fantastic teams playing in Morningside Esports. And uh, uh, Server X Perlis. Tonight, I'm joined by Chad. Chad, how are we doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited for this match. Absolutely. It's going to be a good one. Absolutely. And looking at first map here, looking at Ascent. Ascent is one of those maps that a lot of Jet, Isran, Killjoy, Sova. What are we expecting to see here? Are we expecting something standard or are we expecting to switch up here, Chad? Well, it looks like uh, M side uh, is uh, going to be looking, literally, or running uh, what Loud was running in VCD. Pretty d different comp, a lot of flashes. They have the Phoenix, they can get orbs, farm orbs, and entry through the mains. Get some uh, good entries, free picks. Absolutely. And looking at server, they are looking at more at the standard comp here, the Omen, Sova, KO, Jet, and Killjoy. Then, as Chad said earlier, Morningside opting to run the a uh, little bit different comp of Astra, Fade, Phoenix, Cypher, KO. And with the Phoenix, a little less quote-unquote dive presence but a lot more just fightability with flashes and all that other good stuff and getting into the meat and potatoes of ascent here it's going to be very interesting to see how morningside opt to defend this with only having a phoenix rather than a jet yeah, I think they're going to have to get aggressive in the mains, uh, pair up pretty nicely. Um, they do have the Cypher, so they got, they got a good amount of stopping power, but I think they need to get aggressive in A main or B main uh, to control that. I think that their comp's going to be a lot better on attack, though. Absolutely. But it is a defender-sided map, so we'll see how much they can get here. Getting into the pistol round, we are just waiting on one more ready, I think. And we are going to be getting underway here. Looking like, based off the setup that we are seeing currently, the side of server is looking to be a little more traditional with the four towards A main with the Killjoy Lurk. And with the Killjoy Lurk, there's always a possibility for, you know, those fast rotate possibilities, depending on what happens here. So, first pistol round. Very interesting to see what will happen. I think they're going to play to bait some attention out from the KJ and they're going to do an AX key. It looks like what they want to do here so far. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do yet, but it looks like that what's their posturing towards. And the pistol run begins. The KO knife is invested right away. No info. Posturing A main. They didn't get info B main either. Killjoy is still setting up. This is a big zero point, though. Three suppressed. Figuring out a lot of info here. The Aster Smoke comes in. And not a whole lot yet. Force in the rotate. Fade rotated off of B site. The mid crunch does come in from the core. Leaving the Omen A main is a little interesting here. Looks like they're but going into an A split here. A split coming out from server, and the A split will be coming in. Well, Morningside Flavor picking Watch up the one, eyes. and the Phoenix Flash will be invested. Doesn't know the kill is quite here, though. The wall is invested. Realizes there's people trapped. Helpless gets out. another. Finds the Lurker, though. The lurker. Ooh, oh. SWG manages to get the pick onto Flavor. But 4v3 retake here for the side of Morningside. Trade pick comes in for Jasper. One enemy remaining. And it's just the lone Killjoy left trying to rewrap main, but Helpless is sticking it, and Jasper picks up the kill. Round one on the books for the defending side. Yeah, that was a really good retake uh, out from uh, M's. Uh, wait. Let's make that Killjoy's toys look like yeah, Morningside. Okay? Morningside. Uh, good retake out from Morningside. They re uh, they went out Cat to regain control of Cat. That was really good. Good job. So they only had to control. Uh, they had more lanes going into the retake. 
Absolutely. And looking into the anti-eco round here for Morningside, Outlaw coming out for Helpless. Outlaw, very, very good gun for these anti-ecos. No Let's armor bought up. Kills here. <laughs> Just your typical second round buys for the defense side. And looking like it's this 4-1 setup again for the attack side. And... Nothing yet. No contact anywhere on the map. This attacking side is playing it slow. Faye doesn't get spotted by the zero point. No other big zero point for the defending side here of morning side. Just farming orbs at this point, though. Like we mentioned earlier, smoke mid is the pivot towards mid does come out. The killjoy could have a timing here, but also in the smoke finds nothing though. Flava with the gun advantage manages to get the pick. Nice nade forcing out Flava. The flash comes in onto Cat. Ooh, and the collapse! Oh, That's the power of the outlaw. With no armor. Pick it up the outlaw. eco frags. Outlaw nice is shot. such a good gun. Nice shot by the Astra of Morningside. The Jet in the final two here of the Jet and Sova are still postured towards a main. But with 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Blinks. Closing in, I don't think there's going to be a lot happening, but Fozzy does get a pick in return. 20 seconds left in the round. Moves need to be made. Last player standing. Rose gets the pick, and ooh, Fozzy with two. 10 seconds left on the round. Dash is on. Does, do they have Spike, though? I don't think they have Spike, and their round going to be confirmed for the defense. Yep. Bastion picks up the kill. Good anti eco there for the side of the defenders. Yeah. Money side is uh, really good at uh, really controlling a lot of the map here. I would like to see a uh, server to uh, split up more and take uh, more space along the parts of the map. More of a default style. Because I Absolutely. think right now, money side is just controlling the map so much. Absolutely. A lot of map control from specifically this Phoenix that's just holding mid. And with the bonus round here, it looks like we're positioning for a big B hit, maybe a mid hit, trying to force up the Phoenix, but Phoenix isn't here. Sova Drone comes out clearing mid. Fozzie and Faye are working up in the mid. Nothing yet. Right now, it looks like they're posturing for a B split here. That's a Le good first pick. Liso gets the pick on to Helpless. That is the smokes down, but does manage to live on 10 HP, one shot to anything. That's the power of the outlaw. Even with armor, still very, very potent because you get knocked down to the 10 HP threshold. And nothing yet. The attackers have seemed to got the pick and cut noise. Flava. Playing towards this Rapping through B main tiles. Faye with another pick. Jasper gets the trade on to Faye. Watch your eyes. Tree push is coming in. The only blind will not be finding anything. Flavor with one. That's spike spiked down. down. That's really good. And that's a spike in tree. Flavor with oh. two. Last player standing. Oh, but Fozzie on the pinch. And Jasper left in the 1v2. Does have a Vandal in hand, though. Left. 20 seconds left. With this Sova on 10 HP. They can get the pick on the Fozzie. This round is very, very winnable. Spike is retrieved, and Liso is deciding to rotate the site to get the plant down. Fozzie. Jasper with another, though. This is very doable for Jasper. On the side of Morningside, pops the Neural Theft, finds out where the Sova is. One more blink on the Neural Theft, sees that they wrapped hell on 10 HP. Jasper has the timing, and Jasper! Clutches the Jasper bonus. With the clutch. Clutches the bonus for Morningside. And that's worst case scenario if you're the attack side here, Chad. Yes. Um, they still lost a lot of guns, so they may have won the round, but the, that bonus was still pretty good for him, uh, server. Absolutely. And I did like... Sorry. Looking into this next round, it looks like it's going to be another anti-eco for the side of Morningside here, Chad. Yeah. Three seconds left. Barrier drop. 
I would like to point out that Flava does have this Phoenix open, run it down. Just some shots rattling off towards mid. Flava knows that they're posturing towards this. It's a fast mid take too. Faye going right through the smoke. Pull back star from helpless or mindless, I apologize. Sucker cage detonated. Just noise being made now mid. Trying to pull any rotates. Will Flava invest this run it down? Uh, is the question. Just jump spot, jump spot from Jasper. The run it down is invested. Not finding anything right away. The flash comes out. SWG gets a pick onto Jasper. That's a big pick. Fozzy gets the ultimate out. Faye with the actual kill on the Phoenix. The anti-ego is not going as planned. And it looks like it's going to be an A-side finish. Fozzy manages to get, get the gun. Gets out, and this Killjoy is in a very dangerous spot. Does Rose clear? No. Backs away left. just in the nick of time. SWG, though, opting to take the flank. This flank could be huge from the side of server. All three are grouped up there. Heaven 2. The Fade Eye comes One in. SWG remaining. with 2. Rose does get the trade, but now it's a 1v4 for the Fade. Does have the HP to do this, though. And the money. The Sofa Dart is invested. Nothing yet, but it looks like this is just lockdown from the side of SPX. The post point positioning is too well, and Fozzy finishes the round, and a nice little thrifty here for the attackers. <laughs> Two rounds in a row where servers uh, working up that mid the entire time. Uh, they're rotating out, but they're leaving one in. Uh, and the Lurk is getting a lot of value here. And they're controlling a lot of the map now. Absolutely. First off, the, the, uh, lur the Lurks are very, very potent on this map. Just for the simple fact that there's a lot of Nooks and Crannies. You can tuck a Killjoy, you can tuck a Cypher into. Whatever it might be. And... Round start, it looks like the defense side of Morningside are on Eco as we speak. Flavo looking to get aggro towards B, it looks like. Not finding anything. Or I apologize, not B, A. But Fozzy looking for the entry, finding nothing yet. Just shots Lisa with another. Does have this Hunter's Fury online, but it looks like it's going to be a B hit from the market side. Rose has one on the timing. SWG gets a trade though. 4v2 on site. Spazzy goes up. Does not find it. Rose gets a nice pick. 3v2 here. It's still doable for the defender side, but it's definitely an uphill battle because of the gun disadvantage. And it looks like the attackers are opting to rotate out towards the A bomb site here, Chad. Yeah. This doesn't seem like they know where uh, where it's the where they're gonna be coming in from. Should be able to get the plant down and have a nice uh, post plant here. Liso does have this Hunter's Fury online. Very good post plant ult. Along with the lockdown of the Killjoy. Does have Yuta though. Helpless is Blocking posturing with the Fade. Not really finding anything though. The dart is invested. The Seas will be invested as well, thinking that there's somebody held, which there is. But, oh, ooh, Rose oh, with a nice a shot on Aliso. Sticking the defuse. The swarm nade forces off the diffuser, though. The fade eye is invested. The defuse coming back in. Helpless finds two. Nice little oh, shot. Insane retake. Ooh. Thrifty. And two back to back thrifties here, Chad. That's got to be a little bit demoralizing for the attacker side here to lose to a thrifty. Looking at ult economy here. The Hunter's Fury is online alongside the Blade Storm and Lockdown for the side of server. And on the other side, we do have the Nightfall along with the Cosmic Divide. And I would not be shocked if Morningside opted to use this Nightfall as a retake possibility. The Blade Storm is invested immediately from Fozzie on the jet. Not really doing anything right now. It looks like they want to posture towards A. The KO, the zero point does not find anything. Just posturing, waiting for a mistake. Nothing yet. 
Liso and the Killjoy are po are very far back into this A main, especially with SWG talking to this main. Jasper sees him on the jump spot. Liso right, does yeah. manage to get through, and they leave SWG tucked. Big position for SWG on this Killjoy. Another lurk, as we mentioned before. The A split looks like it's going to be coming out here in a second. Liso. Morning Kai looks not. ready for it, though. Yeah, they have. Well, right as we say that, Flava falls off the angle. And it's just hopeless back to hold this angle by themselves. But right as we say that, looks like it's a B-side pivot coming out. As Rose and Jasper do manage to come back just left. in the nick of time. Right, as SWG pushes run. up B-Main. The Killjoy is invested. And with no Hunter's Fury, there's no way to deny this from the defenders here, Chad. Yeah, no, I think they're just going to look to get out here and retake with Fatal. Oh, they're going to retake very quickly here with Fatal. Blood comes in. Marks three. Faye trying to contest in market. Five seconds left on the clock. Helpless finds one on Aliso. That is the Hunter's Fury down. The tether comes in. Blinks does manage to get the trade. Fozzie gets another. SWG, but it does not matter. Morningside get the round off of a very nice nightfall from Rose. Morningside seemed very comfortable uh, playing for the retake here. Uh, the retakes are looking really good right now. Um, I think that uh, server and really need to look to what they are getting the bomb done. I think they need to look to clean up their post plane a little bit more. Uh, maybe get more aggressive towards their post plane. Absolutely. But right now, Morningside looking very good on these retakes. Absolutely. And I wouldn't call it a save, but I wouldn't call it a full buy. Half buy coming in from the attacker's side here with SWG and Liso on a Bulldog and Sheriff, respectively. Compared to the other side with four rifles, but they do have one caveat here. Faye with that KO ultimate with the no Command, and the no Command is ripped right away. The Faye Eye will be confirming... <clears throat> Will be confirming presence. Bay just running right through. That is a very good play from Jasper, though. Staying back to make sure that they didn't get hit by the null command. And Faye is left out to dry. And the pivot towards A is coming out immediately here, Chad. Yeah, that wasn't a, it was a really unfortunate uh, circumstance. It was a well 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 played uh, from Jasper there. Uh, Look at where SWG Miguel. is tucked, though. SWG is tucked in mid on the defender's side of mid, too, with no way to clear. This could be another good lurk here from SWG, as it looks like the attackers are pivoting towards Cat now. Helpless seems to have it sniffed out, though. This, the zero point is invested, finds nothing. Bozzy looking for contact. I need a Does get hit. No kills are confirmed Let's yet, play. though. And SWG is still sitting mid, just waiting, waiting on this lurk. Do they clear Helpless, is the question. Liso has the idea, sees the shoulder, nothing. Bozzy pushes, gets the confirm. 4v4 here, look at, with 30 seconds left in the round. The Prowler finds out where they are. SWG with one, but immediately gets traded by Rose. Jasper with another. I will say, this is looking like it's going to be a very hard round. Yanni with one, though. But Blinks gets the immediate trade and flies up heaven. Will not be finding anything, and that is six rounds for the defenders here, Chad. It looks okay, like every you know, time they keep getting a big advantage and then uh, it falls apart in the mid round. Uh, Morning side is really doing good in these gunfights here. And they're staying, staying cool, cool, calm, and collected on these uh, retakes. Absolutely. And once again, Jasper has this neural theft online, and that, that can be so scary for an attacking side, especially if you know you want to rotate and you get somebody caught, but barrier drop, smokes mid, and it looks like server is looking to posture towards this mid again, this mid area again. No contact yet. Okay, looking like they're going to use the nade to clear wine. Worried about a wine pinch. Almost. Sending Fozzie on the case to clear it. Ushering towards A. <laughs> Faye and Fozzie have managed to get a lot of presence up mid. Flash, Flash coming in. Fozzie's out. Oh, Blinks is blind on sight though. But they don't clear. They don't clear him. 
blinks with another helpless with two on the round. That's Lord for dead. And it's just left on Liso and the Omen. But a nice flash from Flava. And Yanni gets one, but it will not matter. Defenders with seven here. Timeout coming in from a uh, server to see what they what they can cook up to counter shot this here. I like the idea of their of this mid play that they do. They keep on trying to get SWG tucked in somewhere, but Morningside have kind of figured out that they keep on trying to do this with SWG. So I'd like to see SWG try to tie try to tuck in maybe somewhere in a main rather than in the mid. Yeah, I think the mid control was working out for them for the first the, for the two rounds that they did do it. Uh, it was just getting very sloppy and falling apart towards the end. I think if uh, if they can do the mid uh, thing again uh, and get some pressure to towards there, um, I just think they just need to clean up the post point a little bit more, and I think they should be able to uh, start getting some rounds here. Absolutely, I do want to talk about helpless on this Astra though. Just been hard anchoring this A side of the map. Just so good in this tree area. Clicking heads, doing a really good job contesting, using util really, really well. But another full gun round here for both sides. And this is a pivotal round for the side of server. Because if you win this round, you're right back in the half. You can very easily get 7-5 off this. Barrier drop. No early peak, no contact quite yet. Liso fast up mid on with the Jet and KO. Fade Eye does know they're there. The Cypher Trip will also confirm it. Jasper with a nice spam through the wall, getting Fay. That's one of the ults down too. Flava posturing like they want to fight this. Nothing yet though, and the defenders get a pick in the round. The attackers decided to cut noise here. It's an unlucky, uh, unfortunate spray through the wall by Jasper, but such a good play by Jasper on the other hand too, knowing the heavy presence towards the mid and spamming to apply pressure and you got to kill off of it. Absolutely. The drone from Liso comes out. We'll be spotting Flava. Fozzy already threw. Liso's kind of stuck in no man's land though. SWG with a pick on mid, the flank. Yeah, Jasper with another. Jasper with a third. Liso, though, making this competitive round, left. 3v2, still doable for the attackers here. The dart is invested, and it looks like they're pivoting back towards A with 20 seconds left here, Chad. They gotta go quickly. If they go quickly, they can get a bomb down pretty I easily. Can... Enemy, uh, Worried about shot is not, is not, uh, he has not realized left. yet. They're starting to realize now as soon as that, yep, they're gonna plan to retake here probably very quickly, maybe with KO or something. Yep, the no yep. man is invested. The Omen TP will also be invested from... Last player standing. Ooh, but Jasper with four. Oh, I stole Blinks. his ace. <laughs> Blinks getting the final kill in the round. Jasper cleaning up. And just all around solid countering to this mid play that server is trying to do here, chat. Yeah. Uh, every time they seem to get some map control, there's always a pick coming in from uh, uh, Morningside here. Um, I think it's a good play, but uh, the execution, I think that we just need to be able to trade some more gunfights here for on the side of server side. Absolutely. And another eco coming out. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say eco, but half by coming out from the attackers here. And it looks like it's just going to be a full out A push. Just five man A, see what you can get. Zero point coming out right away detects at least one. Oh, uh, Morningside is so ready for this. Sorry, a three stack towards there. They you are in fact run. ready. The kill oil is invested from SWG. No commitment quite yet, though. Just trying to force rotates, but <laughs> rotates they in fact did force. There's already five here. The Commitment will be onto site. No picks are confirmed by either team yet, though. 
And with the Run It Down and a Cosmic Divide, there comes the Cosmic Divide. A very nice wall. SWG finds the pick on the Rose. One of the angles for the retake is out. Bozzy does manage to take out the take out flavor in the run it down. Jasper with a pick on the Fey. 3v4 on the retake. Jasper dropping, getting another. Has Fozzie sniffed out and is just SWG left in tree to try to clutch this round. 3v1. Does have the HP. No spit on the defuses come out yet, but Blinks confirms the round, and that's nine on the half for the defenders here, Chad. Yeah, they're so Defuse comfortable with playing nice this hit. retake here. They're like, you want the site? You can have the site. We're ready to retake S5 instantly. They stall it out a little bit, but they're always they're all looking to retake a lot more. I Absolutely. still would like to see some more aggressive plays from uh, from the side of server uh, after they get post plant down. I feel like that. I feel like uh, morning side is so comfortable to doing this retake. I feel like we need to bring the pressure to them. Absolutely. It on this retake, the utility is just so well coordinated. The the flooding is so well executed, and it feels like server just have no idea what to do. I wouldn't call them. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily lost, but it's definitely a challenge for them. Blinks getting two with the zero point, and from the looks of server, they're back to this default with SWG tucked up mid. Drone doesn't clear. That's big. Links could have could confirm this round just by themselves. But the attacking team looks like they're gonna pivot SWG with the pick down mid. Finding helpless. That's a big pick on the Astro too. And yeah, it looks like tucked in mid, I think. Looking poking prodding, maybe. Got a little too overzealous. And it looks like the attackers are going to go for this mid cat crunch here. Flava has it sniffed out though. Just jiggling. Sees Fozzie. Flash in hand. Woman blind comes out. Sprays finds nothing. Blinks gets the pick. Blinks gets two. Left. Big pick. Flava looking like they're going to flash out. Gets. One on the his ooh, teammate. flashes his teammate. Yanni does get a trade. Three v three here with eighteen seconds left. It looks like. Are they calling for a save? No. Blinks gets one. They know where Jasper is, but ten seconds left. This is very difficult. Blinks with four. Rose confirms the round, and that was very well played from the side of morning side here, Chad. Last round. Another in ace storm. I want to see an ace. We've got two four Ks now. Come on. Absolutely. Real teammates let him lay, let him ace there. They pay for him. <laughs> Absolutely. Unfortunate ace stolen twice, actually. But last round of the half here. This has been very convincing for Morningside here, Chad. I think Morningside has a really good attack comp too, but the Phoenix. So this is not looking too good right now. With Flavor getting aggressive, Fozzy does manage to get the pick. Rose gets a trade on SWG. Bring them down. Backing up, getting the trade, and backing up. And looking at a possible 11 1 here for the defense side, especially on Ascent, is very. It's, a, it's very hard to deal with. But. SPX. Uh, opting, I'm sorry, to posture back towards mid, rotating back towards this B main, but I don't think they realize that there's still two here. And Helpless and Rose. Should be able Liso. to get an upgraded gun here. Liso does get the gun. Off of Flava's body. Jasper with a pick down mid, yeah, but I think that was just a lurk pick though, rather than an actual kill. The commitment does come out. Helpless almost finds one on the spray down. Nothing yet, though. Market door is shut by Liso. And the plant coming down with 32 seconds. And Liso still has this Hunter's Fury. We got this KO for retake, too. It looks like they want to retake really quickly here. And no command is popped. The Fate Haunt is invested. The Concuss back sight so good from Helpless. What a good get, Concuss. The last two are stuck back sight. 
and blinks and hopeless just muff up the round and we have an 11 one half or yeah an 11 one half here chad for the side of morning side yeah right now sarah's gonna on the on attack on his defense side here and they're gonna have to get both bonus, uh, both pistols and a bonus to make this uh turn in their favor a little bit more here so let's see what they can do here absolutely and looking at scoreboard here jasper has done such a good job of just containing where server can go he's done such a good job of making sure that they can only go through where they want them to go through rather than having full and total map control because the, he has a trip there or he'll have a ca cage there or he has his camera there he's doing such a good job of locking down the entire map and making sure that server can't do whatever they want yeah, he's also been floating between sites on defense there. Let's see how this attack goes. Zero point is committed, finding Fozzy and the KO of server. Should be looking here to farm Phoenix all off of the orbs. Absolutely, and right as you say that, no, that was the KO that picked it up. Jasper. KJ's looking on B and mid. They know it's going to be A off this info from the KJ. Absolutely. SWG very active on this Killjoy. Not seeing anything. Jasper does pop out. Fozzie with one. Flash coming out from Rose. Rose and Helpless getting two in return, though. Liso getting one back. We're in a... Spike down Ooh, Liso with three? Three from Liso. Big picks coming out from the Silva player of Hyper server. Aware. Knows where Helpless is. No, has the comms, has the info. The dart is committed. Broken. Who is Spike? The Spike is stuck on site here too, Chad. That this is worst case scenario for helpless. I guess you could say he's pretty helpless right now. Ooh, almost gets Fozzy. Does manage to shut the door just in the nick of time. Thirty seconds, 30 seconds left. left. Ops to wrap towards heaven is sniffed out by Liso, and these are all very. There's just too many crossfires for helpless to deal with. Drops. Ooh, Lisa with four in the round. This is the start you want your defenders have if you're a server here, Chad. Have I told you you're yeah, they're doing pretty good right now. That was uh, a good, good uh, space taken towards B main. Uh, and then they, uh, that KJ got a bunch of info by pushing up there. Uh, and they, they were already prepared for the A hit before it even happened. Absolutely. Re really good play, good info. Absolutely. Looking at the anti-eco here for the side of Morningside, no guns are forced up, just straight five classics. It's looking like they aren't even going to gamble stack. They're just playing back in their default setup. Mid presence taken right away from server. I might explode here up, got. It is looking like it is going to be a cat pinch with the late Astra towards A main. Fozzy and Fex though do do push up towards A main. Yanni does get one. Yanni with another along with Fozzy. And that is three. One Almost with the fourth. Remaining. Rose does get a cons consolation pick. Does get the Bulldog, but SWG is waiting. Ooh, gets a second. On 22 HP though. Does have Spike. This could be a little dicey here, but with, with only on 22 HP. Tall task ahead, especially with a lot of utility from the defenders here. Plant so does come in. Some extra money. That is big for the attackers here. Haunt is invested. We'll be finding Faye. We'll be finding all three, but Lisa. Nice little headshot. And that is round number three secured for the defenders here of server. Good, good try. Shuffling they guns. They do. They do lose uh, two Down guns here. there, though. But they should be able to, Show me where to go. force up. This is a very crucial uh, bonus round from uh, the side of server. Absolutely. If they can get this, then it's going to be really good for them. Start swinging things back into their favor. Absolutely. And looking at pre-round here, <laughs> we're we're going to be seeing a lot of B main presence taken right away. From the side of Morningside. Five man B main. 
maybe with Helpless pushing through in the mid. The dash coming out, though. Helpless is one. Liso does get a trade on the blinks. SWG and Yanni, though, Spike getting down. big no, hits. One enemy and remains. the tiles oh, crunch. So aware. And the tiles crunch bonus. comes out. And that's a really clean bonus from the defenders here, Chad. They got aggressive there. I like that from the side of server. A nice Absolutely. tiles pinch there. Two from B main, couple from mid. Oh, it was a well done play. Absolutely. And now it's lo looking like they can snowball this to at least six, probably. Absolutely. And posturing towards this B main area again. I wouldn't be shocked if they just try to get on site as quick as possible and try to overwhelm somebody. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Flava has a Bucky somewhere in here. Like they just want to go fast. Can't use that. No commitment quite yet. With the bronze buddy. I respect it. I respect it. Rose with two though. This is worst case scenario. Flava gets the pick on the Faye. Fozzy. Rose does manage to get a gun upgrade. Looking like they want to invest the Nightfall. The Nightfall is invested. I don't think that marked anybody, though. Ooh, Helpless with a nice little lurk. This is worst case scenario for SWG 1v4. They, they have they have SWG sniffed out, but the zero point will be already confirming what they knew. Helpless is in mid. The, the suck does come out the gravity well. Nothing yet. Ooh, and blinks. Nice shot. Good thrifty, and we're on match point, Chad. Match point. Yeah, that was a really well played there. Absolutely. Gave a lot of close angles there. That Bucky uh, tearing through, getting big picks. Help us with Absolutely. the way alert for mid. And looking at this final match point round here, both sides will have guns, but one little caveat: Fozzy is stuck with the guardian, but. Pre-round positioning looks like it is going to be heavy a main, right as I say that, the Rose and Jasper dip out towards mid. Just posturing a main. The flash from Flava finds nothing, but they're running right now. Got a good Phoenix Run it down, there. along with Concuss. Stun, this is Very good fell. util from us from the side of Morning side. Fozzy does manage to take out and run it down, but I think it might be too little too late here, Chad. The Hunter's Fury from Liso is invested. Not finding anything and with that cosmic divide coming out. Yanni with one though in return. 4v3. This is a little more doable now, Chad. Oh, the nice start from Liso. Sees that one is tucked hell. Spike planted. Spike will finally be going down. Yanni is investing this ultimate, tucking into wine. There's nobody here to contest this, though. And with one more lane for retake, this can get very dangerous. But they do see where the smoke came from. So that gave away Yanni's position. Prowler is invested. Stuck in hell. Flavor with another. Jasper It's just on Yanni finding one. But too little too late. Morningside. Pretty convincingly take map number one here. And... And looking at scoreboard here, Helpless did such a good job on the defense, just locking down this A tree area on this ascent map. But don't go anywhere because we're going to take a little bit of a break and we will be back with map number two.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Revitalize Invitational Tournament Valorant Edition. Once again, I am JSTAR alongside me, Chad. And after an exciting map one, looking into map two, which is bind here, kind of a polar opposite map from Ascent, where you see a lot of Jet, a lot of Sova. On this map, you see a lot of Rays, a lot of Brim, Sky, a lot of the hard, a lot of the hard entry agents. As you would, Chad. But yeah, I think it's overall like a more even sided on both sides. It's not really like a heavy defender side of map. Absolutely. But... And looking at the agent locks here, those smokes from server compared to the little more traditional double initiator solo solo smokes from. Morning side here, Chad. Yeah. There's a uh, very different comps here. I think that's uh it's gonna come down to who uh who can uh shoot their gun butter here. Uh, absolutely. But, uh, and... mo but morning Maybe side definitely it. has uh a lot more util um for flashes wise. Um yeah. Absolutely. Looking at the one kind of interesting pick here that we've been starting to see a lot more, even in pro play, is the Gecko. Right? I feel like the Gecko just enables the very aggressive play style that team, some teams want to play. And I feel like on a map like Bind, Gecko is almost now a must pick. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of Gecko lately um, from uh, the pro scene. Um, let's see if uh, Blinks can uh, replicate some value here. Getting pop into off. it. Getting into it. Server will be on the defending side. Leafso did had a pretty good showing on the solo last map on Ascent. Now switching over to this Viper. And Viper just adds so much more stopping power utility for this defensive side specifically on a map like Bind that is pretty close quarters. And getting into round one setups. It's looking like it's going to be an A split here from morning side with almost like it's going to be they're going to get met in showers by the defense here, Chad. Looks like it's going to be a big fight in showers here. Sky Flash coming out, hitting one. Fozzy invests the nade. The wall from the Viper comes out. Nate, Satchel, I'm sorry, has to be invested. Blinks is tucked in in a very good spot. Up short on this jump up box. Does have spike. Cypher Cam just spotting. Still, though, the showers battle is going down still as we speak. Another smoke committed from Yanni. And they're getting aggro here. They're getting they're getting proactive. Fozzie with two off of a huge sky flash. They're running right to the cipher here in Hookah. Oh, oh, gets one. one immediately gets traded though, but I think it might be too little too late. 4v2 on the pistol. Jasper on 10 HP. Two hopping through the teleporter. And it's just a waiting game now to see what's gonna happen. Before the cavalry gets here. And a Puka. Jasper gets one, two. One enemy remaining. two. Bay. Bay with the trade on though. For the ace. Just Jasper on 10 HP. Playing ringer on the rosy. Taps, but Yanni confirms the kill. A little sloppier than they would have liked, but SPX picks up round one here, Chad. Yeah, all came down to that showers battle there. Um, had a big timing there. That showers, uh, showers uh, battle definitely... Uh, Went to big favor into server's back pocket, and they were able to take the round off of it. Absolutely. I'm looking at the anti-eco here. Fazio forcing a Vandal. Interesting decision here, investing quite a bit into this. Phantom, I lied. But Spectres and Bulldogs throughout the board, and no upgraded pistols or anything from this side of Morningside. And it looks like it's going to be a, a five-man showers hit from Morningside. But as we say that, 
The Faye does get one, does see info with the flash. The Gecko utility is coming out. Faye does not manage to get out. Jasper gets one. But do they clear the room tucked in the corner? No. Yanni opts to get out. And they're, they're, they're saying, we have no fear. We're going to run through it. But the Brim Molly slows them down a little bit. Pick up the Gecko Util. Posture. Cy Cypher has lurked up a lot on towards the B side. Absolutely. And SWG has all the info in the world right now. But with the teleporter hop, SWG could be in a really, really good spot to confirm kills here. SWG is so not aware. getting anything, though. Morningside. Takes down the Lurker, that was in a, such a good spot. And this anti-eco is going all wrong from the side of server. But, we are still hovering A. Jasper does manage to take, ooh. Fozzie and Rose are still, or I'm sorry, Flava and Rose are still here though. Util is invested. Lisa does get a consolation pick, but Spike is on B. The, there, this is just bait. This is just bait from Morningside. This was played so well by Morningside. Using the raise and fade as bait so that their gecko and brim could take sight. And it's now just Yanni left in a 1v4. Half HP, but doesn't have a gun. Morningside, the very well played anti eco here, Chad. Yeah, I really like that aggressive showers push there. Uh, server looks like they want to uh, put a lot of presence for showers, and uh, Morningside uh, had a good play there to punish uh, that and have a numbers advantage in that showers battle there. Absolutely. And now, 1-1 one, one here, and it looks like the side of server is opting to just go for the full save. We see one, two upgraded pistols from Fozzy. No, just one, I'm sorry, from Fozzy. And once again, they're going to continue with the shower's presence, but this time they wait out the flash and they're about to get hit with three people from Morningside. Seize comes out, the spam from Helpless, finding two. There's still one tucked, Faye. Helpless Does not matter three. though. <laughs> Helpless with three on the round. Such good spam from Helpless on this Brimstone. Jasper cleaning up the round. And I seriously think at this point that server need to reconsider sending all of their attention and utility into this showers play, especially since Morningside are saying, we'll, we'll fight you here and we'll win. Yeah, they're definitely taking advantage of that to get some free fights here. Uh, Morningside really, really uh, is looking to find those uh, those fights on parts of the map. Um, but yeah, it's looking good right now for Morningside. Absolutely. And right as we say that, nothing from the side of server coming out, looking like a little bit more of a default spread from the defense side. Jasper taking down one of the trips. And it looks like it's going to be a B-side pivot, but there are two sitting in hookah with Liso and the Sky. Faye. They can hear all these footsteps that they know that it's been a B pivot. No contact through Hookah though is Morningside are opting to move up through Long. They could be the spoiler of the party though. I already have they have Luka control. This could be uh devastating for uh Morningside. If they do push this B side. Utility comes through the entry. Also, the nade of Blinks finding Yanni. Dizzy is reclaimed. Gun upgrade is picked up. Teleporter coming through. Fake gets one, though. Keeping this competitive round. 4v4 on the retake. Ozzy has an idea. Has an idea, though, Lisa. Postured in hookah. Nothing yet, though. The flood has not been committed. Rose does manage to get... Ooh, nice double swing. Picking up Fozzie. Rose is wrapping all the way back through. Faye cannot be the hero of the round. 3-1 here for the attackers, Chad. Yeah, we'll definitely, uh, definitely need an answer from server here. Morningside uh, seems to have their number on every single push here at the moment. Um, I would like to see a little bit more fighting together on the side of server. I think uh, what Morningside is doing really good right now is they're playing together as a team pretty well. Absolutely. And they're winning those gunfights. And looking at ults once again here, Jasper with the neural theft and 
links with the fan favorite Thrash. Interesting to see if they're going to want to use the Thrash as a hard engagement tool or if they're going to use it more as a post plant bit of utility. But oh, yeah! Monster on the Thrash is against. invested. Sees the people showers, gets a hit. Flava with two. Nice and nice picks from Flava here. Does get traded by Yanni, but Yanni only with the sheriff in hand, forced to get all the way out. Should be able to get that gecko all back up online. Ooh, Rose with nice little bit of spam, helpless with another. And it's just Faye left against the world. Rose gets the console gets the final kill. And once again, the attackers are just running down. We know what we're doing. Trust each other and we'll be fine. Ultimates online for both sides here. Seekers along with Showstopper and Neural Theft from server along. And on the other side, the Neural Theft and Nightfall are available for both sides as well. And it's looking like we're going to get a lot of presents here, A-Short, very fast. Bozzy pops the showstopper. Seekers are invested off the back of it, too. Yanni getting the pick onto Flava. That is the entry down following the Seekers. Hating a bee. This is looking good from server here. They've got them pitched down into a really small box. Absolutely. Liso doing everything that they can in order to keep them at bay. The pinch is coming in a little sore but all four hit the teleport and they know teleport and, uh morningside know that there is nobody here as he does get a pick though on to helpless orbital strike will be invested not getting anything rose does get a pick in return 4v3 here and Faye getting one in return 3v2 Looking pretty solid for the defenders. Barrel Theft is invested from SWG. Finds out where they are. Jasper does get a pick and return onto Yanni. And time is ticking away. Jasper with one. Blink's getting the pick on SWG. And it's just Blink's left in a 1v2 here. Gotta get on Spike sometime or another. The spam through the box. Picks up Faye. And it's just Liso left in the 1v1 with another spam. Blink's. The spam through triple securing the round. For real. Links with a three kill clutch there. Well played. That was a very well played post plant from Blinks there. Just spamming away through the box and one off thrash once again. Oh, yes. They used the last round and they're already almost out of it. They can get an orb and they can use that really well. Uh, Morningside has a lot of ults coming up here. Almost five. Absolutely, and with them being one or two off, I feel like one of these rounds is going to be an ult fest here with whatever it might be, but posturing towards this B side, Dart does get blinks, Wingman clearing out long, forces SWG back, Orb is picked up, Nightfall is committed as well. No clear elbow though. No picks have been confirmed by other side yet, though. SW, SW ooh. You can play spoiler here. <laughs> Lisa with the team kill. And 3v2 retake, that could be that could ultimately be what loses them what loses server the round here. Yanni with a pick and return though. 2v2. They know where Faye is. The showstopper is popped by Yanni. Nothing yet though. Does find Faye in hookah window. Does not confirm the kill with it though. Drops out, blinks with the pick on the Fey, and Flava getting the pick on the Yanni. And these runs are just getting super scrappy now. Looking at ultimates once again here. Nothing on the side of server. They are close to this Viper's Pit though. But on the other side, you do have Thrash, you do have a Neural Theft, and you do have the Orbital Strike. And th this is a very well-played... This has been a very well-played attack by the side of Morningside. But Server, oh, yeah. looks like they're going to gamble stack. 
The attackers are not running into the staff, though. And this should just be a free site. Five-man TP! Faye and Yanni combined, Five but Flava and Blinks eight. making this competitive. Iso on the flank. It's hit by the trip, though. Jasper should have the idea. Faye is stuck in this teleporter. Speeding up towards the A-bomb site. The Fade has taken so much space. So much space towards CT. Helpless getting the plant down. And... Like planet. All they need to do, all Morningside needs to do now is just not give them 1v1s, just play together, play back, play post plant. Ooh. Think big. Trade though. Should be able to get upgrades here. Liso does get the pick on the Jasper. They know where they are though. The haunt coming in from Rose. Ooh, nice shot by Liso. Molly does come out, picking up Faye and oh, Helpless! in the clutch! That's Helpless, picking charge. up a round. And we have seven on the board for the attackers here, Chad. Helpless with a huge clutch. I thought that was over there. But Molly was good. <laughs> nice little follow-up on the second gill was also really good. Absolutely. And looking at ultimates here, Liso does have this Viper's Pit. And... It looks like they're opting to stack towards B, leaving the Cypher solo A. Interesting choice here by server, but right as I say that, though, we're going to be seeing five-man A short. Just running it down. Wind it out, go in. Ooh, SWG with a nice shot on the flavor. Uh, that's one way to deny that entry. Pushing towards CT here. They're going to meet the brim right in his tracks. Yanni does get a pick. The orbital strike is invested. Does Yanni realize that they're tucked out? No, Rose does get the trade. 4v3 here. Rope is in a really good spot, though. SWG does have spike. Does they have... Ooh, SWG! SWG! SWG making this competitive. And it's just left on helpless in a 1v4. Does the HP. Not does, not get the, does not get the pick right away. Vulnerable up by that uh, Viper Molly. There's one. There's SWG. 39 seconds and counting down. No spike in hand. Fozzie's on low HP, though. Almost lined up. Server. Managing to get two here. Can't still get five on the half. Yeah, the huge impact from S SWG there in that round. Absolutely. Oh, big picks, holding down half the site. He had showers controlled the entire time. Yeah, he played spoiler there really well there. Absolutely. And with Lisa postured towards the A, I would not be shocked if they opt to Viper's Pit either in showers or A short. And it's looking like it's going to be an A short Viper's Pit. Yep, Lisa with the judge just locking it down. But I think... Morningside have this sniffed out pretty well, Chad. Yeah, they're running into a three stack here, though. Let's see how they deal with Fozzy here. Fozzy not getting anything right away. The Prowler is going to clear them out. I don't know if they know that. The sky is here, though. Boombot invested. Getting contacts. No picks, though. Just information. The Sky Dog is invested along with every bit of util Fozzy has. But, like you said, Chad, they're running right into the teeth of this defense. Yeah. We're Unit taking the left. On the side of server here, taking a lot of space here, though. They might get caught with the timing here. Absolutely. SWG. Ooh. Rose has the idea. Does Rose have the idea? Oh, it's like ships passing in the night. So close. They don't know that they're there. Rose. Oh, there's another possibility. SWG heard the footsteps. The Seekers are invested. They're getting so much info. They might TP left. here. This is a lot of info from the side of Morningside. SWG is in a really good spot, though, to play spoiler. And the exec is going to hit. The flood does come out. The plant does come in. SWG though, SWG is on the flank of a lifetime. I don't think Morningside have this sniffed out yet. SWG with one. Jasper with two though on the trade. 
Yanni gets the pick and return. 3v3 around. Jasper. Ooh. Jasper and Helpless. Or I'm sorry, Blinks and Helpless. I'm sorry, getting two picks and return. Liso just opting to save the Vandal and get out. Looks so good from the start of the round. I think that the uh, Blink was just a little too slow there. I think that the people on site weren't able to hold long enough uh, for those flanks to come through there. Absolutely. And the molly for good measure. And we're looking at a potential 10-2 half. Ooh, Lisa. Right there. It's Constellation pick. But we're looking at a potential for a 10-2 half for the attackers here, Chad. Yeah, all these rounds are looking good at the start for server again, but it keeps it keeps falling apart towards the end with big picks and big uh, big clutches coming through from the from everybody on the side of mor morning side. Absolutely, and looking at the setup here, and it's looking like morning side is opting to go back towards this a bomb site that they've done such a good job hitting, that they've done such a good job executing onto. And with the thrash, that just makes it that much easier. No thrash invested yet, though. Right as I say that. Nate coming through the teleporter. Ooh, taking down real low. Nice little denial from Fozzie. Resets the thrash timer. On 33 HP blinks. But thrash is up one more time. Going again. Entry into sight, Molly comes out, not finding any picks, does find Liso in hookah. Entry from Flava, no picks are confirmed though, Liso doing such a good job of holding down this blue hall area. Does have the idea that Rose is here, and does have Jasper for backup. They with the pick on the Rose, tapping away Flava, mindless though, get two in return, Fozzy making this an even round. And with Faye on, or I'm sorry, with Blinks on really low HP, this is doable for the defenders here. Yanni oh. with another, and that's a big pick in Jasper. Jasper has been so good in these post points. Fozzy with another, getting helpless, and I think Blinks can't really do much here, but is going to try for it. The nade comes in, but Liso gets the confirming kill. Three rounds here on the half. Still doable for server. Sorry to spoil the party. Still doable. They were able to close that out. They had a pretty good advantage to start, and they were able to close it out now. Last round before the switch. Absolutely. You look to see see more rounds like that from server. Absolutely here. And last round of the half. Looking at ultimates here. Orbital Strike versus Showstopper. Fozzie could be a very big determining factor into how this round goes, depending on if they can confirm a kill with this Showstopper. I would like to see some aggressive play with the showstopper here because Morningside is three, or one orb from three alts, three important alts here, um, and they'll have four alts up on the board if they can do that. Absolutely, the flash comes in from Faye, one with the raised nade paint shells. Link's posture towards this, gonna throw Wingman through, maybe. No. Got a little bit of cross there, that Molly might be good to force him out. The orbital strike is invested. Finding Fozzy. It's a huge pick. That's, That's the show. Huge pick. And the only the show the world. down. Rose is one away from this nightfall. Not really finding anything. The execute does come out onto site, and it looks like server is just opting to take this four v five retake here. No ults online though. This is this is a tall task for the side of yeah. server. Helpless does get a pick, making this retake even harder. Flash comes out, Flavo blinded, but it will oh, not matter. Lisa gets a trade, two! Lisa with two, six HP and a dream. Yanni with another, 2v2. This is doable. One enemy remaining. 1v2. The Brim Molly, not quite there yet. The Molly coming in. Body blocking, oh, not quite enough! Is there enough time? Even with the Molly? Yeah, it is half the... The half just Kinda in the nick close. of time. Hold on to your hats. And server managed to get four on the half. Not and this is doable if you're server right now, Chad. Oh, it's, uh, it was not a retake I thought was going to be possible there. They had so many alts uh, close sides. to there, but they weren't able to get them. They had main advantage. Bit of a bit of a fumble on the side of morning side there. Absolutely. Looking at the flip side now, it looks like. 
from the looks of it, it looks like that the side of server is going to be opting probably to play a little bit more A-sided because you have such good Viper setups that you can have for this A-bomb site. But from the looks of it, it's going to be looking like a 4-1 split, leaving Liso over here to lurk on A. Yeah, if uh, if server can get both these this, this these first two rounds here on attack side, uh, that we're gonna have a game on our hands here. We will have we will in fact have a new game on our hands. Barrier drop, sky dog coming out does find blinks, patrolling this a long area. Orb grabbed for server. No picks yet, just posturing. Okay. Looking for first contact from Rush Pit is invested a little too deep. Just stalling util at this point. Here. Will Lisa be able to find anything on this lurk though? This Might fire. be able to catch out Leva, but no, not quite. Lisa decides to just give up the lurk. I'm bringing a lot of tension and a rotator yeah. here though. That's one more body towards A, and this is exactly what Lisa wants on this work, is to bait attention, bait you till. I do see where the raise is. Jasper, perfectly safe in this tube, though, for the time being. Faye, following up with the boom bot. Do they sniff out Jasper? Jasper does manage to get Faye. Left. Is cleared. Ugh. Bozzy gets the trade. Blinks with the trade on the Yanni. Spike down. And that's spiked down. 20 seconds left. Both teams are playing really cautiously here. Nice shot from Fozzy. Does have an idea that somebody is wrapping Elva. Has the idea that Flavus here ooh, does just... Ooh, Lisa with a nice little pick off the work. They do see Blinks in Spike elbow. Down, Spike is down. Plant does... Ooh, nice okay. shot by Lisa. And just like that, they know... I think they heard the, the TP of Helpless. Helpless with just the Sim Beacon in hand. 1v2 situation. Angles are held so solidly from the side of server server's giving him nothing helpless is stuck between a rock and a hard place they heard the drop just a jiggle from liso pushing up is helpless does not manage to find the picks a huge and, round, well played. and i don't want to say it quite yet chad but we might have another we might have the start of a new game on our hands yes we may have Looking like server wants to bring this to map three. Absolutely. Anti-eco here has been the thorn in the side of server, though. They have... Ne I wouldn't necessarily say they haven't been good on anti-ecos, but I don't think they've won a single one to this point. Yeah, they've lost a lot of anti-ecos, but let's see if they can have a clean anti-eco here and set, them up, set themselves up for a nice bonus. Once again... Posturing towards this B side, leaving. I was about to say leaving Lisa on the lurk towards A, but now opting to play with the team on around like this. Blinks just deciding to give a lot of space. Nade comes in from Fozzy. No commitment quite yet. Flash finds nothing, and they probably think they're running into a gamble stack. Satchel out. Satchel out. Nice double satchel on the site from Fozzy, just spamming away at the smoke. Not finding anything. SWG does manage to pick up Rose. I think that was on a flank. Oh, are they going to hit a timing? The timing does come out. Finding SWG! Fozzy, though, getting the picks necessary. Needs just helpless left on the flank. Does have Spectre in hand, but this is against Bulldogs. I don't think this is doable. Yep, Fozzy was the third on the round. And that's six... Six rounds here, Chad. Depending on how this bonus round goes, this could turn the tide of the whole entire game. Yeah, this is a huge round coming up here. Morningside's got to feel the pressure now that this is a very important uh, anti-bonus here to win. Uh, they can stop the momentum here if they play this right. But server might be able to take the momentum into their hands if they win this round here. Absolutely. Very and... crucial round coming up here. Looking at gun firepower here. Two sheriffs in the hands of server. But those sheriffs can be very, very dangerous. And looking at 
the posturing of the team here. Server posturing towards A short. Looking like it's just more of a default. Camera than taken out. Right now. <laughs> Nothing yet. No picks have been made by either side. Faye investing both flashes. We gotta remember, Chad, these sky flashes don't recharge anymore. Along yeah. with the tether. Looks Fozzie, like they're trying to sell a fake. Yeah. Fozzie going deep in on this fake. Not finding anything. Ooh, blinks. Oh, the showstopper could be good for two. Finding two with the showstopper. That's huge. Jasper gets and the, the fake. Trade. And the fake is sold. A site is secure. And those are two huge picks from the showstopper of Fozzie. I wouldn't say securing the round because, well, <laughs> we know server and their post plans haven't been the cleanest tonight, Chad. Yeah, they definitely have not. But let's see if they can. Uh, okay. They've had a good start here. Let's see if they can finish this uh, this round out. Absolutely, Flava posturing towards heaven along with Flava Jasper flooding out of the CT area. Bay with a pick on the mine. Helpless. That's a big pick. Jasper does get a trade. Three v two, and bomb is taking down. Is it too little? Too late. Post point positioning is so good from S S uh, from server and Yanni with the cleanup. Bonus secured. Yeah, that bonus is huge. And like we said earlier, Chad, we have a new game on our hands. Yeah, the tides have turned into favor of server now. That is a Going huge against Hiko. As long as they can uh, get this eco, then we should be able to tie it up here. Hopefully, they don't. As long as they don't get ecoed here. Absolutely. The momentum is slowly but surely shifting into server's direction. And only with the neural theft online, that could be single-handedly the reason why the this Morningside team wins this round. But looking like they're going to posture A again, leaving Liso towards this A main area along with the side for SWG trip is taken down so that's all the info that SWG needs. So he's activated towards this B main area. But let's apply some pressure here though because SWG we're exploring ciphers. here. The two ciphers pass each other like ships passing in the night. They don't know that they've pushed up this far. Fozzie is out. Does see the person in U-Haul. or Fazo, Fozzy and Liso do get two get two opening picks. Fozzie's just holding the W key. No fear towards this CT area, man. The Gecko Flash does come out. Ooh! <laughs> Tries to kill the Wingman, or I'm sorry, the Dizzy, and ends up killing the Gecko in return. Rose is in a very good spot here to foil Fozzie's flames, but with the gun standing. disadvantage, Fozzie comes out on top, and it's just Jasper left in this flank <laughs> with a classic and a dream. Looks like he might try to die Spike here. Smart idea from Jasper. Might be able to get Liso. Yeah, gets one. It's one. But it will not matter. Pretty clean round. Very good anti-eco from server here. And we are tied up now. Big momentum shift into this match here, Chad. 8-8. Eight, eight. I think server finally found their rhythm. Yeah. Now is the moment where Morningside really needs to... Uh figure out what's going wrong and fix it so before this game's too far out of reach absolutely and i feel like server need to go back to this viper lurk that it had been working so that had worked so well for them rounds one and two but right as i say that looks like it's going to be an a posture inside of morning side here it looks like they're getting some heavy showers control here that is big. That is Flava a a and switch up. that is Flavor and Blinks tucked in showers. The Brim is here. They do see that Blinks is in showers, but I don't think they quite know that Flava's there. Some Help us stall and Blinks out here. doing a really good job stalling them out. No picks have been committed from either side. Thrash is oh, invested from Blinks. Does get the pick on the does, does get the hit on the face. Yanni though. Gets the follow-up pick onto Helpless. So where? Ooh, SWG, SWG gets taken down the flank. Jasper with another pick on Yanni. Rose with another. And it's just left to Faye. Ah, investing the Seekers. 
The stick is invested, nothing, and Morningside pretty convincingly brought this back. I answer back there with the adaptation to take more showers control there. Um, server side, uh, the side of server, they were uh, they were pushed up on A, but they didn't. They had half the side that wasn't in control of them. That showers Absolutely. play from all three of the people on morning side it was huge there. They controlled half the site and made it really difficult for them to get that bomb down. Absolutely. And looking at ults, there is nothing on this side of server. And Jasper is still holding on to this neural theft. And once again, it looks like server is opting to position towards this A bomb site. Another aggressive play here for morning side. I like this adaptation from the side of Morningside, getting more aggro, taking more map space. Bay does swing, getting Huge down, picks. getting taken down along with Fozzie. Yanni does get a consolation pick, but that is also a man advantage. Ultimate is invested, not getting anything. 3v4 with a minute 15 left, and it looks like the side of server is opting to cut noise and maybe rotate towards this B bomb site. I like the adaptations from uh, Morning Side here. Getting those two picks there. They did get one traded back from the, from server, but I do have an advantage, uh, main advantage going into this rest of this round here. Absolutely, Flavo one pick off that showstopper. SWG is postured still towards this A shore area, along with the rest of server. Wall goes up. No commitment off of it though. And this should be everything that they Thirty need to seconds know, but left. probably gave them all the info they needed to know. Lisa picking up this orb in showers, they definitely heard that. These audio cues are everything that uh, that Morningside need. Lisa was out in showers, actually. Plant going down. Spam. Ten seconds. Ten seconds left. Grenade. Ooh, Flava! Not a pick. That is a big pick. Jasper with another, and it's just on SWG. Two seconds left, no time to do anything. Uh, it looks side. like the momentum's uh, so slowly but surely is starting to swing back uh, back around towards uh, Morningside's favor here. Absolutely. And Jasper sure. still holding on to this neural theft, too. Yeah. But on the other hand, Server do have a win condition with Liso and this Viper's Pit. I'd like to see uh, if uh, Morningside could try to get some orbs here for the fade so they can get a, a nice retake for the... if they do have to retake against the, the Viper's Pen here. Absolutely. And it looks like it's going to be a more of a default approach here. Sending three towards B main. B long, I apologize. And keeping the Cypher and the Viper back towards A... is invested SWG taking down the cypher cam. I think this is just all for another fake here, Chad. Could be. We have a spike yeah. towards A. But... The spike is postured towards A. Fozzy, or I'm sorry, Flava pops the showstopper. They're gonna GP. They... They're gonna get out of they're... dodge here. They managed to get out, but they're still two on A. The Worm and the Gecko are still here. Anchoring away, Jasper's but Lisa Liso is all the way up into yeah. you haul and if Liso can get this ultimate off, that could be all they need, because, well, neither the Nightfall or the Neural Theft can be used here. They're left. coming out, they think it's a triple plant. Helpless does get the pick on the Faye, but... Ooh, Flava killing himself? 3v3 on the retake. Fozzy with a pick in return. Viper's Pit. Ooh, nice shot from Liso. They are on the spike, though. The Viper's Pit is alive. The Neural Theft is invested. The spam coming out. Not quite there. Links confirming the round. Great that counter to the Viper's Pit there. Absolutely. Ooh, and we might be looking at a tech pause, but... Going into this round, I think... I think, yes, we are in fact having a tech pause. So, 
going into this time out here, Chad, Adaptations, right? We mentioned earlier that server had kind of cleaned up the re or I'm sorry, post plants, but now it's looking like they've been they've kind of gone back to what they were doing before. And Morningside is just taking advantage of this 100 percent by not cleaning up by having sloppy retakes or not sloppy retakes. I'm sorry, by using sloppy post plants. Yeah, Morningside has looked to get more aggressive in the early rounds too to to dwindle the time down and get some advantages. I think server on the side of server they need to get be more prepared for these aggressive uh, pushes by by Morningside here because it's really catching them off guard and they're losing uh, trades uh, on those aggressive pushes. But yeah, Morningside looked to have the answer here a little bit more. Absolutely. We'll see and... if they can close it out. Looking at ults here, Fozzy, Fozzy and SWG have their ultimates respectively. Along on the other side, Morningside does have this Thrash available, and this Thrash has been getting a lot more value. But right away here, round starts posturing towards the B bomb site. Nothing quite yet. Deep smoke from. Hopeless. No contact made yet. Ashing towards this B bomb site. They is opting to move back towards A. SWG taking some sort of contact with Luca. Not finding any picks off of it. And the final two players have rotated off A. Here. Eh, not quite. As I say that, they decide to go back. No contact has been made from either team yet here. Just the three up passes. <clears throat> Util being invested, both sides. Now they get the idea. They take contact left. on A. Messi's forcing a lot of rotates. And as I say that, though, Fozzy pops a showstopper. Not finding anything. Ooh, just get goes down very, very low. And with no sky, there's no way to heal that. Well, Fozzy looks like you're going to run directly into Helpless in this elbow area. Helpless getting the pick onto Fozzy. Thrash is invested for the retake. Thrash gets taken down immediately. Here, the TP. Pushing up towards this B main area. The tether Was. and helpless. One enemy Very remaining. nice tether. And it's just Faye left on the sky against the world. 1v5. Doesn't have the guns or the HP. The match point here for Morningside. Yeah. Match Morningside point. looked like they uh, they lost a little momentum at the, the start of the attack, uh, start of their defense there. But it looked like they have the answer here and they're looking to close it out. Absolutely. Looking at the scoreboard one more time, Jasper has just done such a good job on these retakes. Just being that cornerstone that they can rely on to close out these rounds and lock down a site at the same time. Jasper has done such a great job on this Cypher throughout both maps. And start of match point around number 20 here. The flash comes out. Let's get aggressive. Takes out Faye. But Spike SWG down. makes it an even round. Trades come out. 3v3. Should be able to get upgrades get here too. Absolutely. 3v3. Equal guns too. This. Spike. SWG popping the neural staff. Finds out where everybody is. Opting for this the double back towards A to hop, help out Liso. Ores and ores admitting. They just figured out the cypher is there, so they're looking to go back to B. Absolutely, but they are running into the bulk of the morning side players here. They have yeah, the idea that Rain is here. They're trying to get right, the state they that, though, they hit the TP. They hit the TP, and Rose and Helpless are forced into the rotate. Jasper was one off, and that's a spike. A. A spike down. It's be really hard to get this back up. That's the fatal. And it's fatal. Through. Marks both. I think this might be all but over. 
Fozzie can't pull off any heroics. And with that being said, Chad, Morningside, take this. 13-8. It was well, really well played from Morningside there. Uh, they were losing a little bit of momentum towards the towards the start of the defense side, uh, but they answered back quickly and uh, took back control and had a clean finish. Absolutely. Well, with that being said, my name has been Jay Star. Oh, I am just being informed we are going to interview uh, Chad. We get to play our favorite game now, Player of the Match. Who? Do you think earns player of the match here, Chad? Well, it's between two people, in my opinion. Um, but for the fact that uh, he was able to help both sides and was uh, really good at floating, I think uh, I think Jasper, I think, deserves player of the match here. Absolutely. And with that being said, when we come back from break, hopefully we will be joined by the player of the match, Jasper.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined by Jasper. Jasper, heck of a match, man. How you feeling after yes. this? Uh, the game felt great. I had fun in my first one as well, even though we got completely curb stomped. But that one in particular was really fun to play. thought the team did really well. Absolutely. Just about to ask that team, from the team standpoint, how do you think you guys did tonight overall? I mean, we had someone on an off roll because our guy was at work tonight, but I think we made it work really well. Absolutely. I think and we did a great job. Absolutely. Looking into the future here, expectations for yourself, team going forward, what's the goal here? Uh, the goal for me personally is just to play as good as I can, as frequently as I can, and gain experience in this tournament setting. I say team-wise, I think we want to make at least, make it as far as we can, because I think we can make it pretty far. Absolutely. Once again, match MVP player of the match, Jasper. Jasper, we appreciate you joining us here tonight. Thank you very much, man. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, my name is J-Star. Alongside me tonight, Chad, and we will see you guys tomorrow.